There it is. They were complete trash. Hi busies, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification. And comment. So as you can see by the title, how to take your power back. This video is really important to me because this is January 1st, 2024, and I've been waiting for 2024 to come because 2023, no, I can't, I can't with it. Total trash, throw it away, never come back. I went through the most I've ever went through since 2014, and 2023 was particularly worse because I lost somebody so incredibly close to me that I kind of lost myself at the same time. I was not prepared for that. I didn't know how to handle it properly. So I actually shut down. I didn't log on to social media, not once. Like, I was not on Instagram. I don't even look at stories. I don't look at feeds. I don't look at anything. I was not on social media. I was actually isolating. And I realized God wanted me to isolate. So, so when something tragic happens to you, it could either make you stronger or you can destruct. I destructed and it wasn't okay. I was at such a low point that I've never been like that before in my life. I've never felt like that. I felt like I wanted to go in a hole and never come out. Like I just did not want to, I wasn't okay. And I was at the point where I just didn't care about anything and I didn't talk to anybody at all. So fast forward, now it's 2024. I was waiting for 2024 because I feel like this is the year of change. I'm forced to have a different chapter in my life. You know, when you lose somebody so close to you that you talk to every single day, it, your dynamic of how you run your day changes, obviously. And you're just I'm completely disturbed and traumatized. Like, it's not even funny. But anyway, I'm, I'm dealing with it. So my family wanted me to see a therapist and she prescribed some meds for me, some antidepressants. There it is. They were complete trash. You can see I still have 20 of them left. I only took 10 and I was done. I was done. I wasn't doing this. It didn't It didn't resonate with my mind. Um, I know it helps a lot of people. I went into a rabbit hole researching on it, but it didn't help me at all. It was like terrible. Um, it made me so, it made me like numb. It made me still to the point where I couldn't even get up. I remember being in bed and I was like, I felt like, hundred tons was on top of me like I could not get up and that's not me it sucked my energy it sucked my emotions and I don't ever want to feel like that I'm sorry plus I heard that you become dependent on it and I wasn't gonna do that so I'm being open with you guys I'm being honest about what happened and now in 2024 it's the first day it's January 1st happy new year I want to say that I'm doing a lot better and I'm moving forward and I'm going to make this year count the four steps that i am going to do and if it resonates with you do it but this is my four steps number one i'm going to pray that's first and foremost i'm going to pray 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 that's going to be my way of my grounding you know god he's my partner so i have to turn to him a lot more and turn to the word and just get advice figure out what exactly purpose is I've always been an entrepreneur and a business person. I've always known that I want to do that. Number three is plan. You got to plan. You got to plan, 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 plan. Like if you're not planning, you're failing. And the last one is that you got to produce. So after you plan, you got to produce. Like what are you doing? So let's go through each step and I'm going to, I'm winging this. I don't have a script. I did write a couple things down, but I just, I don't have time for that. I don't want to not do content because i'm thinking about the little details too much i'm trying to build a community of entrepreneurs business people i started a business in 2009 that's the first time i opened up my first company and well first real company and that's i never worked for somebody since then so the first step pray this is very important because um so i i got baptized this year and after i got baptized i wasn't keeping up with the word i wasn't keeping up with my pastor i wasn't keeping up with anything that had to do with religion at all or faith because i was so far gone i didn't realize how far gone i was i needed to do more work than that i should have continued on that so that way i didn't get as bad as i was so that's my first thing is pray 
whoever you pray to it doesn't matter pray to the almighty who you feel is the almighty but you gotta have some sort of faith because that puts your ground in number two you have to have a purpose your purpose has to be so compelling so serious that there's nothing else that you want to do like that being said find your purpose figure it out sit down make sure that you are literally thinking about it and once you find your purpose why are you here why are you in life what do you want to accomplish who do you want to help who do you want to give value to what type of people what industry why are you here <laughs> why are you here like my purpose has always been to create jobs and i love that it feels so good to me that's that so that's the whole purpose thing three is you have to plan so you have to plan your goals your objectives your motives every day like you have to plan your whole day you have to plan your content you have to plan your calendar you have to just plan so the fourth one is you have to produce after you plan you take your plan and you get it done simple as that and you know what why i'm so passionate you know why i just got mad right now <laughs> i just got mad because people plan and then they don't execute and i'm just like so well, who were you planning for what were you doing you know what i mean and all my life all my life all my life no just joking since i became a business person i i'm a planner i'm an over planner i'm a type a personality but sometimes my procrastination gets in the way of everything and i'm just like no that's not okay nicole like you gotta just do what you said you're gonna do and like i'm this is my model for this year how you do one thing is how you do everything so you need to now be consistent with your habits and you need to be consistent with your word if you can't keep your word to yourself what are we doing here like you know what i mean just go and work for somebody so that way you can get steady paycheck if you're going to be an entrepreneur which is what my channel is about then you need to freaking execute period that is it for my four steps i hope that you guys got some sort of value out of this oh my god i'm seeing content creators popping up everywhere like everyone wants to be a content creator it's like crazy now like just like how everyone wants to be a boss and an entrepreneur now everyone wants to be a content creator and guilty i don't care though i'm doing it and you guys are gonna love it and you're gonna subscribe and you're gonna press the notification so you can see the next video and then you're gonna keep on watching and then you're gonna get my watch time up and then you're gonna prompt sponsors to come and want to sponsor me and pay me to do this <laughs> okay <laughs> you guys just don't mind me I'm gonna end it right now before I start rambling and then I just lose you all together. And I just wanna say thank you and please subscribe. Bye!